wanted to try and treat her as, as normal, which is really difficult because I knew that she'd been really ill. One of the things we were told is not to let her cry because she had a heart condition. So not to let her cry. And how do you not let a baby cry? But I wanted to treat her as normal as possible and, and she wanted to dance and she couldn't even walk. So I sent her to dancing classes and it seemed a bit strange, but she loved it. She loved being with the other children and they were really kind to her and somebody always held her hand and she was dancing. And she loved the shows. That's 17 weeks early to you and me. And that started our journey. <laughs> Anything to get out of wiping up, eh? <laughs> yeah. It was an ugly looking sight. Thank you. It was worth close up, love. <laughs> oh. Go away. Oh, every time we have a row, I'm leaving home, I've gone there. <laughs> Every time I make her do something she didn't want to do, oh like tidy her room, sorry, sorry, sorry. change her bed. No, don't hug me. Don't look. She's a. It's, it's really strange because she's very grown up in lots of ways, but she's very childlike in others. What's what's it worth? Oh, what's it worth? Rissa, do you want to go dancing? Yes. All right. Okay. Thank you. What's your normal retort? Look, don't crease me. What? Don't crease them. What am I doing wrong? Not creasing them. Yeah, just go up and hang them on the banister like that. When you come back, it's some more. Maybe, maybe she will go into sheltered accommodation, you know, in a, in, in, in a house or something with other people that are similar to her and they're overseen by a carer. I don't know. I mean, um, I can't imagine myself, like, helping my mum and dad. I can, but I can't if you see what I mean. Can go and have a look now? Yeah. Come on, have some of them. When I was in the audience, I'd always dressed her, and she was always, she's much smaller than anybody else. Um, and her clothes were obviously specially made. Um, and the waistband held together with Velcro. And I was really careful to make the Velcro line up properly because it, she was tiny and it would have overlapped. So I made sure it, it lined up properly. And on this occasion, I was in the audience, so I didn't dress her and the person who dressed her overlapped the Velcro. So when she was dancing, holding her hand, holding the, the, the woman's hand that was with her. My trousers came down on stage, would you believe it or not? And so she stopped dead, opened her legs to stop them falling right down, but she couldn't talk and she couldn't say, my trousers were falling down. So she just stopped and it was a little while before the, the girl realised what was happening, but the audience could see and they laughed. Um, yeah, um, so they took me off stage and and I was brought back on. I carried on dancing, the same thing happened again. They fell right down again and she stopped dead and she was taken off. And then when they brought her back on, she wouldn't carry on dancing. She was just like a rag doll. And I could see that she was so embarrassed by it. It was awful. And um, the, show, the, the dance finished and she went off. And I went to find her backstage because I knew she'd be really upset. And I couldn't find her. She was hiding. I was in, 
I was in a corner, um, crying, as you do, and, um, and I said to my mum, were you laughing, mummy? It was, it was just awful. <laughs> Bless her heart. We gave her a cuddle and we said, no, we didn't laugh. I didn't laugh, I cried. When I look back at it, I just laugh. Nothing much else I can do, but it's there. Uh, apart from laughing. Okay. We were told she had and absolutely no chance of survival um, and that we should get her christened if we felt you know that was what we wanted to do so we did so she was baptized when she was about three hours old yeah, barely three hours old um, and we were told that she'd be dead by the evening you know she wouldn't survive the, the evening but she did and she carried on and every day was just a miracle. Every day was one day longer. The doctors thought she'd survive. 